Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Invest 96L, which has the potential to become a subtropical storm. And we're also going to be taking a look at what has happened thus far in this hurricane season. And so, before I go into details, <music> Alright, so let us start off with our disturbance, of course. And so this disturbance is located out in the open waters of the Atlantic. And as of right now, it is given a 30% chance to potentially develop into a short-lived subtropical storm by the National Hurricane Center. And so the chance was higher at 50%, but we're having a gradual decrease because of the fact that the system lacks adequate subtropical characteristics to be classified as a subtropical storm. And it is also going to be making its way into cooler waters and that is going to prevent the system from developing further than whatever it is at that time. So after this evening, we will really see chances completely diminish if we do not have this actually strengthen into a subtropical storm. And the next name to be used for this hurricane season is the first name on the new auxiliary list, and that name is Adria. And so guys, this is not expected to be a threat to land as it's going to be lingering out there and accelerating to the northeast. And then by this weekend or so, it is going to be absorbed by a larger non-tropical low pressure system and so taking a look at it on satellite here we have it and we're definitely not seeing it looking very organized uh as i said earlier it lacks adequate subtropical characteristics but throughout today there is still the potential that it could rapidly uh, get in shape and become a short life system but as of right now we have the chance diminishing and after today chances will completely diminish for the system to potentially develop. All right, and so let's take a look at the wide view of the Atlantic Basin right now. So that, uh, which is Invest 96L, is the only disturbance that is out there at this time. And we don't have anything else really going on in terms of tropical cyclone activity. And so looking off the coast of Africa, we do have an area of a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity. But that's not anything that's very significant. And we do have some shower activity taking place in the northwestern Caribbean. And so... Let's take a look at conditions across the basin. Alright, so first up is ocean temperatures. And we're seeing here that uh, the Caribbean is still quite warm. Uh, for the most part, the Caribbean is going to remain somewhat warm even during the off-season period because that is the tropics and the tropics is warm all year round but we do have the gulf of mexico cooling down as this hurricane season is coming to a close and overall the average temperatures are decreasing because we are now moving into the season of winter and so the cooler waters are going to help to prevent tropical cyclone development so that is why after november no more storms are anticipated because conditions are expected to be too unfavorable to accommodate storms but we do have storms that manage to develop during that off-season period sometimes we've had storms uh in december in january and other off-season months and so now let's take a look at the wind shear map and so we have the different colors here that indicate the favorability of the shear we have the green that means favorable the yellow that means neutral and the red that means unfavorable and so we're seeing here that we have a lot of unfavorable shear extending across the region and that is helping to also prevent any development whatsoever because uh, this strong wind shear usually just cut off the thunderstorms and prevent tropical cyclones from developing so this is one of the reasons we've not had much development uh, during the month of october and november and so next up let's take a look at the saharan dust so this is another significant factor when it comes on to tropical cyclone development and so as we head to the lighter shades such as the yellow that means that there isn't a lot of dust present but the darker shades such as the dark orange the red that indicates that there is denser amounts of dust and so taking a look at the map right now we're seeing that we have quite a bit of dry air across portions of the Atlantic Basin, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, well off the east coast of the US and even some Saharan dust making its way into the Caribbean and so the Eastern Caribbean and Central Caribbean are being impacted by this dry air and this is likely resulting in very hazy conditions and also inducing more warmth as there is limited rainfall whenever we have all that dry air because dry air prevents moisture and moisture is something that 
is needed in order for rainfall to happen. And so even as we go back on that satellite imagery, we can clearly see that we don't have much shower and thunderstorm activity across the Caribbean. And that is mainly due to the Saharan dust, which is helping to dissipate any moisture that is there. And so guys, this hurricane season has been pretty active thus far. We've had 21 named storms, 7 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. And so... This hurricane season is the second consecutive where we have the list of names being exhausted. And so if we were to have any more development, if Invest 96L is going to manage to develop into a storm, then it is going to be acquiring the first name on the new auxiliary list. And so the previous list was the Greek alphabet, but it was retired earlier this year. And a new list with names are given to names storms that would develop after the normal list is exhausted. And so we've had the formation of the first system of the season, which was Anna, back on the 22nd of May. And with its formation in May, it's made this season the seventh consecutive where we have pre-season activity. And the World Meteorological Organization was even looking to change the start date of the hurricane season from June 1st to the 15th of May due to this uh, recent trend where we have storms developing outside of that slated period. So that was one thing that was taken into consideration, but for this year, the season began on June first but who knows next year we might see something happen because this decision was made before the hurricane season began and before the formation of Anna so is Anna going to be bringing that consideration up again all right so after Anna we had storms such as Elsa in July and Elsa was a rapidly moving system and it could have intensified into a much stronger storm but it was moving so fast that it started to shear itself and then later down in the hurricane season we had our first major hurricane which was Hurricane Grace and Grace was a westward moving system all the way from the coast of Africa right across the Caribbean and into the Bay of Campeche and it became a major hurricane just before making landfall in Mexico and then next we had what was a significant or the most destructive hurricane of this hurricane season which was Ida and so Ida developed from the Caribbean and made its way up to the northwest and into the Gulf of Mexico and so it rapidly intensified into a deadly category 4 hurricane quite close to being a category 5 just before making landfall along the Gulf Coast of the US and its remnants when they accelerated up to the northeast resulted in widespread flooding. And then as we head further down into the hurricane season, we had the formation of Sam, which is currently the strongest of the season. So it had winds of 155 miles per hour, slightly stronger than Ida, and it was a long-lived cyclone out there in the Atlantic. And so guys, so far as I said, this hurricane season has been pretty active, but fortunately, things are coming to a close. And as the hurricane season closes, persons start to wonder, what is going to be happening next year? Well, it's a little bit too early to tell what exactly is going to be the outcome, but we really have to wait and see. But I will be posting a video that will showcase the names that are going to be used for next hurricane season, and uh, stay tuned for that. And so guys, that is really it for this video. And so if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up, and you can also share thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just Remember to always be with wise.